Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, we will be taking a look at OVR. This is a like decentralized marketplace where you can buy digital land. And this is going to be big. I think that it's already starting a trend, especially with some land already being sold for almost $1 million. That's mad! Crazy ludicrous, boom. So I'm going to take you through this and help you understand why digital land is going to be the new future of this space, this crypto space. If it sounds interesting to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're watching. I will dive into this, but before I do so, I need to let you know. I am not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please do your own research before you invest your money. That being said, OVR. It's also got this AR implemented inside it, Augment Reality, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I tried it out because you can download the app on your phone and you can test it in this massive wormhole like this, like a portal opens up, and you can step through it. And then you're just in this entirely new world. It's just insane. So what is this really about? It's about buying digital land. And I think this is going to be uh, like the next big trend where everybody wants to own virtual land. Like I said, one almost, one almost sold for almost a million pounds. This is virtual real estate, guys. It's la <laughs> It's mad when you think about it. Some people find it hard to sell a house for like 250 grand. And someone just sold some land for, I'm going to get to this in a second, uh, for almost a million pound. Now, there's obviously there's uh, other projects like the OVR, you've got like the Decentraland and stuff. But I'm going to tell you why I'm leaning to, towards this OVR more than any other in general. Because I think there's a lot of room for this to blow and make absolute insane gains. I'm going to break down the prices in a second. You can see here already the market oh, <laughs> the market cap is tidy 9 million. You can see the supply. Well, this says 95. Let's just quickly head over to CoinGecko. It's 110 million. Tiny! Well, I'm just going to break it down a second, okay? It is tiny. But let's just talk about this. So, you know, you enter the OVR market, participate in land auctions, and discover the OVR ecosystem. Now, they're very clever, because what they've done is, I'm just zooming out here, this is the world map, right? And they've basically created a massive virtual layer over the entire, mar uh, the entire world where you can buy forms of land and they come in the form of hexagons let me just scroll down and see if i can show you 1.6 trillion uh hexagons laid over the entire world and they look just like this each segment i can't remember how much square foot it is but in the augmented reality world you know it's a lot of space here we go look. O ovr is a digital layer over, uh, covering the entire globe it's composed of 1.6 trillion unique hexagons uh, called over overlands. Should we call it overlands? That's what it looks like, right? Over our lands, overlands. Uh, land can be purchased from the system with the auction and then traded, rented, and decentralized uh, fa in a decentralized fashion. This is big. It's so big, actually. I decided to buy some myself. You best believe. And if you're as a patron of mine, you knew I was buying OVR tokens. And on top of that, I told you I might get some land. And I did buy some land. I've been checking out the UK area because I've been looking for them hot places where people are going to walk. Because, you know, I see the future. And, you know, I always tell you this. I'm a futurist. I'm going to show you how this works in a second. Uh, but yeah, I see a future where people are walking with their phones and they can do this augment reality and they can see things on their phone. I I'm taking it a step further in a second, but because uh, I've got ideas for this, you best believe. But let's just have a look, right? So you can come on, you can actually zoom in. And the more you zoom in on this, it will just show you like hexagons. But I want to show you some of the land that I purchased. And obviously you can decide if you wanted to get involved or not. But I think that this really is going to be the future. People want to buy digital land so they can sell it on in the future and make some insane gains. So let's just have a look. Uh, this is some of the most recent stuff that I bought. I decided to buy the whole entire po uh, part of Soho. You best believe. And as you can see here, these little segments show the area that I own. Uh, so I bought the entire part of Soho because in London's Soho is a very popular area, you best believe. And I think as time goes on, people are walking around Soho, and when they start to realize this digital augment reality world, and they can do it with their phones, they're going to start using their phones in this area. And then they're going to want to start seeing some amazing stuff. And everything you see here, all these orange squares, hexagons, uh, they are places that other people have bought. So, you know, if I zoom back in again, uh, let me zoom in, you can see it will say sold. 
right? So the green is owned. Uh, so people are paying attention. People are paying attention. They're trying to grab up areas fast. See all these little blue dots? They're also sold. But let me zoom in so it can actually show you that they turn orange and say sold. The red means that they're live. Maybe people are trying to sell those segments. But these are sold. So a lot of people are, you know, trying to buy up these, uh, the, the, the world. <laughs> People are trying to buy up this layer fast. And if you, I don't know where you're from, whether you're London, uh, Australia, wherever you are. Um, but I guarantee you, if you come on OVR right now in the marketplace and you try to buy some exclusive land. Like I'm talking like, if you're in France, you're like Paris, <laughs> you try to buy the Eiffel Tower. I bet you it's already taken. Because people are trying to grab these important areas fast. And I wasn't just grabbing Soho. I also looked to grab... Uh, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? <laughs> Come back into my assets. I wanted to buy some important parts in uh, Greenwich as well. Because I think that people are going to gravitate... Look, 135,000. 135,000 have sold just in the UK alone. There's a trend going on, guys. I can see it. And I think that you need to be a part of it. It sounds crazy, I know. It really sounds crazy to think that you're buying digital land. But, you know, when I saw this, and then, you know, I see it everywhere. Virtual land price is booming right now. Uh, this is obviously back in uh, March. But, you know, three months, four months, it doesn't make a difference. It's showing that there's a demand and people are in the rush to grab some virtual land. And that's what this is about. Look, this is Greenwich. I'll zoom in and show you where I bought. They've got the Queen's Palace right here. Then you've got the great, uh, the Royal Museum. I just bought segments of the Royal Museum right here. <laughs> this person must have been pissed off because I just come along and take it. <laughs> because I think that in the future, when people start walking around this Royal Museum in Greenwich, they're going to start seeing expensive NFTs in the Royal Museum. And then if they want to use their augment reality, <laughs> they, you know, they see this segment here. I might sell this. Because this person here, whoever these people are, might want to own a piece of this as well. So, you know, that's why I decided to do it. But, yeah, people are paying attention. And I think you need to be paying attention as well. Uh, you know, the augment reality side is phenomenal. Overlands, owners will be able to contextualize custom experiences related to specific geographic locations from the uh, static 3d content so you know what they're doing they're making this uh where is it because uh, let me just scroll up here so here look create and upload 3d contents on your land so you can actually start building on top of your land putting bits and bobs on it and this is where the excitement comes in because you own it, you put stuff on top of it, and you'll have thing, uh, things where big companies will want to put advertisement and things like that on it. And that's what's been happening. This is why people are in a rush to buy this digital land. You can check this video in your own time, you know, OVR.ai, simple website, and come and have a look yourself. But yeah, I think that this is going to be a, a huge trend going forward in the future. And the reason uh, like OVR token earns... So, oh yeah, let me just talk... Before I get into breaking down, you can stake your OVR tokens as well. So, you know, because I'm logged in here, you can actually click on staking. And then the staking area shows you where you can stake some OVR tokens. You can lock it up for three months, uh, six months, or you can just have it unlocked, but you get yourself 5% or something like that. Just in case you want to grab it out, buy some tokens and put it back in, you know. So this is where you can stake your tokens. Uh, I think it's definitely got potential. Now, let's just break down the coin. Hold on, before I go, let me see. Art Gallery here. Just just showing you a bit of the website, you know, because it's interesting. Download the app, because when I downloaded it and I saw some bloody virtual portal just open up in my bedroom, <laughs> you best believe I walked through it. I was somewhere else. <coughs> got a cough there. <laughs> anyway, let's do this, because like I said, right now, it's 110 million max supply you're never going to get more than 110 million right let that sink in now you're probably wondering well, what kind of prices can it go to well first of all uh, let's just check i'm gonna come over to coin market cap uh let me just find it here we go because i want to show you uh the market cap size well nine nine million here Actually, it said the same thing over there. It's just easy to see it like this. This says 95 million max supply, but I know max supply is 110 million. What kind of prices can we hit? Because if you look at Ethereum, and I'm not comparing anything else apart from scarcity, supply. Ethereum has 116 million in supply, and it's increasing, by the way. 116 million. And look at the price, 1,400 pounds. So when I look at OVR, let me get back to it. <laughs> and it's sitting on, well, 95, 110 million. Actually, we could use this. It's sitting on 110 million right here. 
and the market cap is tiny. Does it say it here? Market cap? Yeah. Nine million. You have to understand, there's so much room for this project to grow, which is why I went for this one in the first place. Because I, in order to meet those, you know, 100x uh, gains, you have to find a project that is young. And this has that potential. So I'm going to take the market cap. Now watch this, because it's going to blow your mind. It blows my mind. And I don't mean to shout at you, I'm just trying to keep it real. So, 9 million. Let's times it by 10, because when you see OVR do a 10x, you'd be looking at a $93 million market cap. And when that happens, you can essentially take the price and shimmy it a decimal forward. So right now it's 58 pence times 10 is £5.81. Let that sink in because that's only a 10x and it puts it at $93 million. <laughs> Not billion. Let's take it a step further. Same market cap, times it by 100 now. And this is what you look for. Everybody looks for that 100x coin. When you see it do 100x, you're looking just under 1 billion for this market cap, 932 million. And that will put each coin, each coin, let me just take this, look, watch, uh, this first three digits, times 10, £5.81, times 100, £58.81. And what, 14 pence? Because I see the four there. Uh, so yeah, 58 pound, 14 pence for one coin. Right now, you have an opportunity to buy them at 58 pence. A piece. And that is not investment advice. I'm just trying to show you an opportunity here. Let's just check what 58 pence is in dollars. 0.58 is uh, 80 cents. 80 cents for one piece. Now, if you had a, a thousand pounds, because I usually say the average person, you know, if you're not spending on takeouts and buying those expensive clothes, you know, the hundred and fifty pound uh, tracksuit from Hugo Boss. <laughs> if you save your money, you should be able to afford this. Over time, you could accumulate that money. You'd get one thousand seven hundred and nineteen OVR tokens. Point seven four. Got to add the seven four because it counts. <laughs> because I tell you what, in the future, when this goes to 58 pounds per coin because right now you're getting it for 50 58 cents 58 pence 80 cents you could take your tokens right here times that by 58 pounds and 14 pence because you know all i did was a 10 i just shimmy that forward 100x right and it's super doable because that puts it under a billion 930 million right you would turn your 1000 pound investment oh what's going on there <laughs> did i not times it come on equals it oh Oh, try again. Hold on. Uh, so you got your tokens there. Times it by 58 point. Listen, I pressed it twice. One four. You would turn your 1,000 pounds into 99,985 pounds. Almost 100 grand. Mad. Crazy. Ludicrous. Bum. I'm going to take it a step further. Because I believe, me, myself, I, I got to say that. Because if I don't, people be like, let you sit this show. No, oh, man, you said OVR's going up, mate, and it's not. <laughs> you get people like that. <laughs> Just laugh at me. I believe we will see a market cap of at least 10 billion. Because I think that this type of industry is young right now. The space is tiny. And when people start to gravitate and rush to buy digital land, they're going to want to grab it fast. And then when they realize that OVR is still fresh, young, and there's lots of land to buy, they're going to rush. Times this by 1,000. I'm talking a 1,000 times your money now. That's what we're talking. It puts the market cap at a $9.3 billion market cap. See right there? That's doable. And it, I don't know how long it's going to take. Might take a week. Might take a month. Might take a year. It might take five years. I don't know. And I don't mean to shout at you. <laughs> uh, what are we laughing for? But what I'm saying is that... <laughs> I'm just saying that I, I really do see the potential in this. You know, it's doing something stupidly unique. I love the idea of the phone. But you know what? I can picture saying else, OVR. If you're watching, team, I think that you guys should create a lens. Like a glass or goggles. Something. I can see it now. Them OVR lenses. Hard oh, OVR goggles or glasses, whatever you want to call it. Where you put it on and then you can connect it with your phone. But your, your phone, you hold your phone in your hand like it's your hand, like your grip. So, you know, when you're in this virtual space, you just have one button on the screen that you tap it, it vibrates, right? So when you hold it, you're picking up stuff. <sighs> ah, that's all I can say! <sighs> because I can see that. 
And now you then turn this massive experience into something phenomenal. Because you've got these glasses that you now step into this whole new world. <laughs> You're going to have to go to a park. Because if you be walking in the middle of the road... <laughs> You just end up walking in the street because you're just blown away. Because it reminds me of that Tomorrowland. Have you seen Tomorrowland? That movie? Go and watch Tomorrowland. You know where she touches the little thing, she touches it, and she's in the police, she bangs her head. <laughs> That's like me walking. Anyway, what I'm saying is that OVR, you have some serious potential here. And I've seen what you're, see this? It's just like this. I've seen what your, uh, your AR can do. It's phenomenal. And if you're doing this, over the entire planet. Well, let me just zoom up. Let me, where is the where is this space? I just missed it. You know, got. If you're doing this over the entire planet, where people can just grab, land anywhere. I'm I'm gonna check out these areas. You best believe I'm going to Africa because I need to see what my tribe is doing. And I'm gonna <laughs> and I'm gonna come over to Canada. You best believe Edmonton. I'm coming there because I need to see what you've got going because people are buying stuff. And there's a lot of buy going on right now. I can see it. And you need to be a part of it. Again, not investment advice. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just saying. How does it work? So when you buy stuff, like I had to put a bid in for the, the, the you know, what I wanted to grab. Just zoom in randomly right here. <laughs> Why not? If I wanted to buy this segment, when I click buy, obviously you need them to have a certain amount of tokens. It opens up a, a, an auction, but it lasts for 24 hours. And once the 24 hours is done, if no one else has bidded on your your thing that you're trying to buy, right, then it's yours. But if they bid, then they obviously got to play. They got to pay double the price. But um, oh, what's this here? What is this? I don't even know what area this is, but people are buying over here. Let's just click it and see. So yeah, I um, you know, I bought some stuff. I was happy. I just look at this little segment here. Maybe someone lives here. I don't know. If you're watching, then you, <laughs> I'm just looking at your place that you bought. It's not even coming up. It's still taking time to load. But yeah, I think that. Oh, there you go. Sold. So yeah, I think that this could be a big thing. And you know, once you bought it. Then obviously you can decide to sell it, hold it, whatever you want to do long term. But I, I think that it's worth holding on long term and look at these expensive places where people are going to be. You know, London is a good one. Uh, Belgium, fantastic areas. You know, this is where people are looking to buy. 10,000 right there in, in the, the heart of London. So, yeah, I think that, um, you know, again, you're talking a thousand pounds into because I didn't even do that, did I? When you see a 10 billion. When you see a 10 billion, okay, let's just take the price, shimmy it forward. So times 10, £5.80 or 81, times 100, £58.16, pence, times 1,000 is £581. Pounds. £581. Pounds. And that sits at a 10 or under, just under a 10 billion, 9.3 billion. And that's possible. Because like, like I said, you know, Ethereum has 116 in supply, 116 million in supply, and it's sitting at 1,400. And look at the market cap. The market cap is 160, what? 169 billion. I'm saying 9.3 billion. If you take this 160 away, we're just talking this. <laughs> 9.5 billion. That's what I'm talking right there for it to hit. You're talking fragment, fragments of, of the market cap of what Ethereum is, you know. So I think it can be possible. And time's going to tell. Like I said, this is an investment advice. I just wanted to share it with you, show you what it's about. And I think that you should uh, should not underestimate what's going on right now with digital land. People want digital land. OVR is going to take people places. And, you know, the fact that other people are buying on other platforms and selling a million. It's mad. Crazy. Ludicrous. But I'm going to leave it here. There's probably a lot more I can talk about about this. And I will be bringing you more on OVR tokens. Like how much should you have? Should you hold? Should you own? I think it's important. Check out the app. Download it. OVR. It's just insane. The portal part. And yeah. I'm going to leave it here. If it was helpful to you. Please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. Big up to you all. Hello if you're new watching. Welcome in. Become a subscriber. I also have a Patreon. You're welcome to become a Patreon. Because you know they see things before you do. They saw this video before you did. So, yeah, I have seven tiers. Take your pick. I recommend my buy-sell so stake alert so you don't miss nothing. Uh, it's entirely up to you what you go for. But, yeah, patrons in these tiers, I see you. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate you all. Going to answer your messages. I'm going to see some messages there. Click on the posts if you're new so you can see what's going on right now, what we're buying and all sorts. And, yeah, I'm going to do a shout-out to my patrons. Shout-out to 
Tony Notary, it's time. AJ, Frank C63, Clarence Dennison, Christopher Johnson, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Stuart Chocolate, Car Carlos Rocha, Damaris, Samuel Stancox, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG Bizzle, Max Wisem, Ridiax Robinson, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Tyron Samuel, Stephen, I swear if that ant comes near me, the flick it off the screen. Uh, where am I? Tyron, Tyron Samuel, Stephen Edwards, Ab Edward, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Pamela Williams, Stacks on Racks, Rick, Joffrey Williamson, Omar Thomas, Casper Avan Davis, CCP269. I've got to do it fast because I promise you, there's loads. Good feels nice. Dominic, Peter Stoddard, Belinda Spencer, Eric Foreman, Semyon, Fatima Price, Shwanda Owens, Tana McLaren, Josh Wills, Marcel SSK, Kevin Ward, Sassovi, Michael Keel, Christopher Hoss, Christy, Peter Moser, Snowy, Big Up, uh, D Swearing, Andrea Hardin, Eric, Kelvin, William Fox, Eschar, Claudette Hormiliosa, like Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Anyway, just flip you up in the air, because that's a sick little floating spell. Shakir Sane, Jeff Tomtich, Lamar Lee Seeley, Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Cyril. Cyril? I always get, you know what I mean. Alexander, look, big up to you. Alexander Ophori, Gilbert, Gilbert Baggins, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Powell, Russell Cohan, Joseph Marcus, uh, Crypto Mac, Andrew Queen, Gimme the Games, Videx West, AM, Ali, Mo Siege. I'm trying to do it fast. Fiat Jackson, Mike V, J Fave, Terry JC, Ollie, uh, Orville Broomfield. I'm getting there. Frank, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm not halfway. Frank Essa, Nasa, Ig Ignacio. Love that because that's like a sick Harry Potter spell. G Crypto Lumen 7, Chris Chico, NM That Man, Francis Locko, <laughs> Zach Adam. What am I laughing for? Man Sour, Jem de Jaguar, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss. Exactly us. Just flip that one out of your hand, you best believe. <laughs> Woman offer. Stony Mac <laughs> can't help it. John Lowe, Ranjo Singh, Raffle Cooper, Aiden, Ejikia Corey, Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Durai, Anthony Berry, TRG Investments, uh, Marky Cersei, hello, Ryan Williams, Tukan, Santino, Joel, or was it Joel? Let me know. Crazy Jam, Timothy J. Brusky, Renee, UKMC, No Name, Jack Slater, Pablo, Lena111, or Lena, let me know, one of them, uh, Lena111, Sunny V, Crypto Crypto One, Hany Abu, Ricardo Vinegar, Shinadu, Oscar Vilgus, Crypto Moon, Knight, oh, new to you. <laughs> Jackson Tepper, Francis Hernandez, Akbar, Jermaine Allen, David Adeniji, Chiquita, hello, uh, John Sandoval, Optimus Primpage, Edgar Cortez, Ramil TV, Kirsten, Mr. Drew, SNCCC Mullen, Daddy Albus, uh, jo <laughs> listen, I told you, some come and gone, I'm getting mixed tongue twisted, Joshua Asher, uh, Black Ape, Bob Ross, Eloy, Mikey, you, Mickey? Mikey? Mikey! User X20... I always get that one mixed up. I've got to scroll up. Uh, User X2019, Blackstar, Chillers Creations, Akis Voderus. That's that spell. Just mash up your ear. <laughs> I can't say it, you know. Abedis Ayn, Moises De Lopez, Michael, Joseph Samara, Niona London, Chris Tap... I'll just tap dance with you. <laughs> okay, i got to stop. <laughs> Iris, Montreal Ammer... I've got to have fun with it, guys. He's just a long-ass list. I mean, are you still sitting here? Because it's long! Joey J, Raj T, Bri Brian Reedy, Terry, Carnell Goodman, Matthew Walker. Oh, it's gone the wrong way. <laughs> Sarpe Singh, Dennis Booneman, Mark Peak, Ilya Chiu. Chiu? 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 Let me know. Royal ID, Teddy Barrow, Hassan P, Makuga, Gordon McCulloch, Monica Matteo, uh, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, Johnny Matthews, Michael James, Arted, Moises Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. Hello. Rizwan, A Kings, or A Kings? Let me know. Ice Cat Trader, Davidus. Hold on, it just says Davidus. It doesn't say, okay, well, mate, <laughs> half, just give you half it, you know. Connie! <laughs> uh, A. LMU, William Johnson, Anthony Donne, Karen, hold on, Karen Danik, like I'm getting all tongue twist. Kimberly Gaiman, All for One, Cylindel Tashuma, Stefan Coinage, PC World, because it's just PC, but it's just, I like it. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Marky27, <clears throat> clear my throat, that's not a name. Dave, Chris Adlam, Crypto Newbie, Tom Rodriguez, uh, where am I? Uh, Golden Bags, Slow Measy, Noel 21, Trevor Dawson, Jew Tam, Thierry, I told you, there's loads, and I'm halfway, <laughs> just, just, you know, you might enjoy it, Joe Youssef, Chucks Anderson, Splurge Ultra, RF Joy, Danny Rich, Erlstein, Carnival 444, Morgan Culver, Joe, Kapashkama, Alex, Alexis Pagan, I think it's Pagan, Pagan, let me know, Seraf X, Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, Big Up, Anish Patel, Aaron Nova, Mohammed Imran, uh, Ankush Jane, Cory, Mario L, Vanessa Small, Elijah Aylendi, I think that's right, Moinu Hussain, Andrew Laramie, uh, I'm getting there, Nadine Jordan, Eddie Laforme, T Tony B, D Wills, Mad Riyad Madikasso, Midikasso, there you go, Hash Matala, Suraj Rashid, Eamon Deep Whaler, Masikso, Master J, Daniel Brown, Leon Plus, I told you, it's just slowing me down, why you got too many of you, but I appreciate it, let me just keep going, DG Crypto, <laughs> Adam Istvan, Th oh, Istvan, 
Theodore Wheaton. Hold on, what's, what's my f- bloody phone doing? Where am I? Here we go. LD, Vincent Millet. Yep, that's right. Mauricio, A Noop N, Steve, Steve Hayer. <laughs> There's so many. Aman Rizvi, Janetta. Hello, Janetta. Uh, Legend Charles Knight, Asa Jones, Gabriel v- Vince McDowell. Yep, so I'm like getting mixed up there. Duns River, Carrie, Gilbo Blaggins, Jake, Jake Ross, Cookie Crumbs. Cookie. I can't say it every time. Christian, uh, Lee, Philip Staffer, Fund Me Now. I mean, if you know, I'll sort you out one day. <laughs> what other? Crypto Dive, uh, Maha Ramadan, uh, Fears Ahead, Jim. Jim, yeah, Harsha, uh, Bent Henson, Daniel Grigview, I think that's right, Idol Piper, big up, I know you make crazy games with me, uh, Sherry T. Zostek, well you all make games with me, I know you do, we win, we lose, you know, it's, it's, it happens, can't win them all, Desh- Deshanovation, Mustafa, Skylark, old oh, type DJ Skylark, I'm in the place with a DJ Skylark, big up, the, okay, you know what I mean, <laughs> I just gotta do it, Liz Reed. look, I gotta start scrolling down now, uh, where am I, El Bengred, the A-team, slash something else, uh, Jacob Madaris, Dave Cathro, I think that's right, Richard Harmer, Carl Dawson, JP Dillian, Dil- Dil- I think that's right, Joe Shorns, oh no, I'm getting there, I'm probably getting there, Akeem Banks, Michelle Van Den Acker, hello, Rosemary Henson, Justin Levin, Via Financial, yeah, Via Financial, I say Via in London, Raycorn, Mr. Pauniti, Massey, Tonye Adekibi, Seer Coins, I think that's right, James Richards, Kasha Smith, Soul Seeker, I don't know, I just felt like I could do like a, I had to do like a heaven noise. Oh, anyway, fear this. I don't fear this, yep. Yeah. Rossi D, pa- uh, Paolo Baptista. You are a patron, big up to you. Uh, Renton Bacco, because uh, I spoke to you in it. Inigo Zubieri, I think that's right. Stefan Grunfeld, Grunfeld, yep, yeah, got to get it right. RGC, Visual, uh, Lee Goodwin, those are two different names. RGC, Visual, Lee Goodwin, Jiba. Yeah, that's right. Matthew One, Tristan Miles. Oh, there's so many tongue twists. John Hung, Saif Raman, uh, May Ravel. I think that's right. Uh, Laurie Littrot, Alicia Abigas. I think that's right. Uh, hold on. Nima, Ram- Nima Wambagu, Des. <laughs> it's just too much. David Lang, S- Saita. I remember that. Danny Ruddick. Look, I'm scrolling down still. Uh, who's still here? <laughs> I told you there was too many. You thought I was joking. Kenny Brokaw. Brocco, I think that's right. Brocco. Aaron Nguyen. Nick Smith. S- Sandbox. Nazar. Sam Lenio. Yeah. James Snowden. P. Pi. New names. Mr. Bonds. I'm almost like I see the end. Double starred. Mo, Mo Mill. Roy W. Tom Just. Uh, Mus- is it Mustak Dean? Michael Knight. Medea. S. Terrell. Nate. Roberts. John Carty. Josh Davis. Batch One. VJ Kuma. Is it Fuchs? I don't want to say the other one if it's a swear word. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Devastator X, Francis B, Christopher Hamilton, Mr. Investor, Irina Lorenzo, Mark, Raphael Stepnikowski, Jordan Ratti, and Jean Gerard. Thank you all so, so much. It's mad, crazy, ludicrous, bomb with the name calls. I appreciate you all so much. Let me scroll to the top, just get there. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Cheers.